but you see all these things in the public like who cares it's like if we're enjoying each other and we're having a good time it really doesn't matter so what can fans expect on this season of growing up hip-hop um this is this season is exciting because we're introducing some new characters some new people are coming on the show and then you get a little bit deeper look into like my relationship with my siblings people are always so interested in and me meddling a little bit into my sister's love life like a bigger sister does just trying to make sure that you know she's making good decisions making right choices just being an annoying older sister basically <laughs> so is the miami thing like to be closer to daniel no I've always wanted to be Miami. Okay. <laughs> Angela, when it comes to introducing a new boo, is Vanessa usually the hardest person that like you get a little nervous of introducing to her? No. No, I'm I feel like my parents my parents are the people I normally would get nervous for. Hello, like my siblings like I like here. Hopefully y'all like can be a harsh critic. Jojo can be a Jojo, hard Jojo can be difficult when he wants to. <laughs> to work out on the beach every day. Well what else is out here? Well, Daniel's out here. You know he's fighting to 27. Now we're getting to the real answer. By the way, I like your promo pic. I'm about him. Tag <laughs> team. Off the ropes. Whatever. <laughs> I don't get too hard of a problem. I just want to meet them and get to know them and make sure, you know, she's not moving too fast. And you'll see me talk about that a little bit more this season. It's her life, but like things are moving quickly. And I sometimes need to do what a bigger sister does and go behind and make sure everything is okay. So I need to meet this guy. Everybody else is. I feel like Vanessa, you're gonna be honest though. Like, like you'll be straight up honest on how you feel. She won't always. She don't always like what I have to say, but you know, gotta be whatever. Serious. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you executive produce the the series. Did you expect it to be so successful in six seasons later? I mean, thank God. I'm I'm glad that it has been successful. Um, no, I mean, when I started this whole journey into looking into do something in reality, I wasn't sure what it was going to be and then it just grew into this and there's so many other ones like growing up in Atlanta and it's just it's been really great and a blessing and I feel like it's given a lot of awareness to other people's platforms and that's always been my goal is to create a platform for other people to have platforms and that's definitely done this so you know we're still here you know and then I think the television is shifting and changing so much so for us to still be here is definitely a blessing what do you guys like most about like working together to me because we're, we're we're family like I don't know like it's better like you know with friends like things can get iffy your family's still gonna be your family regardless of whatever happens and you know we have so many things that we cross collaborate on or like it's just it makes it easier it definitely makes it easier to go to work right it definitely does we've been doing this for a while with friends house and like you know there was so much fun being able to film together and get to do it at home it's a blessing that all these years later that we can do this as adults and we have children together not together but we have children that are growing up together and to be able to you know work together professionally is is like the best honestly that is the best because i know with my sister regardless we have an argument We'll put on a normal face the next day, forget about it. Oh, 100%. Yeah, totally. Maybe let's get into an argument, and I don't care. If I have something to tell you in two days, you're picking up the phone. Right. Yeah. It's always workable when it's sisters. It could seem like the worst in the moment, but it's never. It's never, like, more important than the relationship. That's true. Angela, I know a big topic is your love life. And I can speak for a lot of people. I've been jealous of you since the Shorty Like Mine video. Ah! Hilarious. <laughs> And everyone was in your business when you were 18, 19. Now, like, you you handle it so well. You, like, you seem unbothered even when you're probably not. Was well, that something that you had to learn, like, throughout time? Or have you always kind of, like, been able to deal with it? Um, I would say throughout time. I think eventually you realize that regardless of someone's opinion on your love life or whatever they're going to think, like, your life is going on with or without them meddling and seeing what they want about your life. You know what I mean? So... And I, that's how I feel in relationships. I feel like people will break up, get back together. You see all these things in the public, like, who cares? It's like, if we're enjoying each other and we're having a good time, it really doesn't matter, you know? Even if you're following someone's love life, it is what it is. I've just learned to not care, you know? That's, that's a lot of strength right there. Like, that's not it's everything. Definitely. Yeah. What are you guys looking forward to most sharing with fans this season? Yes. I think as the seasons go on, we all evolve. As humans, you know, we've been doing it for six seasons. I feel like you always see a new side or something new about each of us that I feel like this is, you know, going to be another evolution of everyone and new cast members at it, which is going to be a lot of fun, a lot of new energy. Um, and of course, the drama, which is what the fans want to see. There's 
the drama will definitely be there. So should be a really good fun season. <laughs>